Sights and I'm back with another Magnus Answers. And this one's entitled Looking for Purpose After High School from the Anime Blaze. <coughs> yeah, without the growl. But it says Magnus. That's just how you put it. He didn't put Magnus. Put Magnus. And uh, yes. Uh, it says, hey, how's it going? I'm 17 and I'm about to graduate from high school next June. Sure, I'm in a few clubs and everything, and yeah, I'm going to graduate, but what after all that? In a way, I guess you could say that I'm at an edge and afraid to jump. Feels like after I graduate, I'm always going to have this huge feeling of failure hanging over my head. One fall smooth and it's all over. I plan on going to the Air Force and off to college. I know I'm going to have to face this whether I'm ready or not. But I'd like to know if you have any advice. Thanks again. P.S. Want me on subscribers? Woo! Um, you know what, man? Anime Blaze. Um, let me tell you this. You can't go through life without experiencing fear. Fear is part of life. It's, it's, it's you know, it, it happens when things are unexpected. You don't know what's going to happen. Or... You expect something that is going to be bad. Throw that all out of your head. Get it out your mind. Or get it out your mind. Um, you know, the fear of failure to me now is bullshit. Because I would rather be the man that tried than the man that didn't try at all. You got to remember that. Think about that. When you sit, just think about certain decisions and things you're going to do and think to yourself, well, what's going to happen? What's the best that could happen if I do this? What's the worst that could happen if I do this? What's the best that could happen if I don't do this? What's the best, what's the worst that could happen if I don't do this? A lot of times you sit there and you think, oh, well, you, you, to me, you sound like you got a plan. You want to go into the Air Force, you know, and into college. You sound like you got a plan to me. So don't be afraid to go to the Air Force and be the best officer that you can actually be, the best soldier that you can possibly be, if that is what you want to do. Don't be afraid to go to college and be the absolute best student that you, you can be. Because remember, there's a guy just like you somewhere else that decided not to go into the Air Force and, I don't know, he got a job at McDonald's and maybe he's a bum now living with his parents. Um, there's a person that decided not to go to college you know, and, you know, they, they didn't take that opportunity and now they're sitting on their ass working at McDonald's or something like that. You get what I'm saying? Like, and now, you don't, what you got to figure out is what you really want to do. I mean, if you really want to go into the Air Force, go into the Air Force. It's, hey, it's not my thing, but it could be your thing. We ain't the same person. If you want to go to college, like for me, it ain't my thing, but it's your thing. If you want to go to college, do your thing. You know, don't be afraid to do what you want to do. What makes you happy. You got to remember that. You know, like, think about it. You, man, I can't tell you how many people I know that didn't do what they wanted to do. They didn't do what, what made them happy. They were afraid. I had, let me tell y'all something. There's a man that I know that had a chance for financial freedom and he did not take it because he was afraid. Let me tell you what he did. He's sitting down and he's talking to me and he's, we're talking about financial freedom and I'm talking about my plans and when I want to retire and all these different things. And he's like, man, I had a chance a couple years ago. And I'm like, what are you talking about? He said, yeah. I was set to buy three Chick-fil-A's. I said, excuse me? I was set to buy ch three Chick-fil-A's. The financing was ready. I was approved. I was going to get this one, this one, and this one. And I said, what happened? Well, what the fuck are you doing sitting here talking to me right now? Instead of living, in, instead of chilling in Bermuda or some fucking island, enjoying your life off, 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 off your fucking money that you're making from your three restaurants. He says, 
I was too afraid to pull the trigger. I was like, are you kidding me? Chick-fil-A is popular as hell. Like, Chick-fil-A, like, you're almost guaranteed, like, when you buy a fast food restaurant, not that I agree with fast food, but stick with the, stick with the idea here, okay? Financial freedom. When you buy a franchise, when you buy, you know, like, these are guaranteed systems that work. It's really rare for these types of big franchises not to, 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 to succeed. You know what I'm saying? Like, you buy a McDonald's, I think they're $2.3 million to buy, but you buy a McDonald's, it, it, it's going to work. People still love fast food. People are still going to McDonald's, and I'm sure McDonald's will be around for a long time. You know it's probably going to happen once people are, are hip to all the, the, the fast food. And they're going to be forced to sell good food, and, but they'll still be open. Get what I'm saying? Like, what he was doing, he didn't have to be doing. I was like, you're, oh my God. Like, let me tell you something. Yo, please take the opportunities that you have to do what you want to do. This man had a shot at fame and financial freedom, and I told him, I said, next time I see you, I want to hear that you're working toward financial freedom again. Please don't, don't work slave for the rest of your life under somebody else like this you you are at your chance man don't do that oh my god <laughs> frustrates you frustrates me just talking about because trust me if I had a chance at three successful franchises i'll be ready to go i was listening to robert kiyosaki one time a cd and he was just like one of my friends has 10 jack-in-the-boxes this man is set for life that's what he said and that made me think of that. I was like, motherfucker, you had three. <laughs> three? He, hey, shit. You know, you was on your way. You were starting up. You were doing your thing. Oh, my God. So just remember, you know, hey, you might want to rehash what you want to do if it's not really what you want to do. Sometimes you set up a plan because you think that's best. But set up a plan that you think is best, but best for your happiness. There's a difference. You got what I'm saying? And y'all go to my page, my fan page. I posted something earlier. I forgot what it said. It basically said something like, don't look forward to your next vacation, but set up a life that you don't have to escape. Got what I'm saying? It's your happiness that is the most important. And don't let fear get in your fucking way of happiness. Please do not let it do that. It ain't worth it. Trust me. I Look, there are things that I am still afraid of. But I still will move forward on these things when, yeah, man, shit, I was scared of fucking acting. I was scared of getting on stage and all this shit. I got rid of it once I really started to think, oh, wow, I do have a talent here. Yeah, I know how much actors make, how much these motherfuckers make doing these commercials and movies and all this shit. Hey, um, I think it's worth getting over stage fright to do this. And here I am, you know, doing what I do in front of y'all, you know. Uh, you look at my earlier films, you you know, you realize that, yeah, he, he's a little different than, yeah, because I was a little bit nervous and worried about doing, you know, a, a, a video right for y'all and all this shit. Now I'm just me. It's just me. That's all you get. I ain't afraid to bring you me every single day. And that's what makes people successful on YouTube. Like I said, my two favorites, you know, like the, like the Hodge twins, you know, or, um, or like Jenna Marbles. They are themselves. And look at them, Jenna Marbles is killing it. But, you know, even that guy DeFranco, he's doing his thing. He's just being himself, his quirky self. I mean, shit, that's all you got to do. Do what makes you happy and be you, and you'll be straight. Talk to you later.